Bonjour! So, this episode is going to be kind of a callback uh, to episode 2 in this series uh, with an updated tour of the different districts of New Pleasant View. Okay, so first, a bit of a rambly <laughs> explanation, sorry. Um, May is just like April for me, it's super bit busy. Um, I've got uh, family visiting too, so I um, don't have as much time as I thought I would have. And um, so I'm pushing back the release of the world. It won't be released before end of June. And also, um, I need to cut back a bit on the videos so I know I'm, I'm not the most regular person already but um, this one is going to be a bit long uh, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to cut it into two parts uh, I'll see that while I'm editing it later which will be quite later because I've got one of my nephews coming um, this afternoon <laughs> I forgot okay uh, so um, so yeah Let's do that. Let's do a tour. So first, uh, the downtown area or the administrative district, I guess, here. So we have um, eight lots, um, seven community lots, one residential lot. The one residential lot is the daycare over there. And the other lots are the fire station, the primary school, um, city hall, festival grounds, um, library, high school, and kind of a stadium, uh, a sports field over there. So let's have a look. So first, uh, the sports field that has uh, changed a bit since last time. I don't think we saw it in detail, but yeah, still have a few things I want to uh, do that so it's not done. I have to play test, etc. etc. Uh, it has its back to the high school, which is kind of finished. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, my sims have been there, <laughs> they have spray, spray painted the whole school. <laughs> so, yeah, and the inside is kind of done, I think. Here is a look from the front. Um, it's across the street from the library, which not done yet, but well advanced. I'm keeping the building. I don't know. The inside is, might change a bit. Then uh, down the street, we have on the left the festival grounds. We saw a bit better. Um, in the last episode, I think that, and yeah, I'm still t tinkering it a bit, but that is going to disappear. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, fond of that. Um, and then across the street from the festival grounds, we have city hall, uh, which is almost done. I think I still have a few things to do. The diner is done. You can see it in. I'm going to link the episode, I think it's f the food tour part two, I'm going to link it in the card, I think, um, or I'll try. Then uh, next to City Hall, we have the primary school we saw last time. Behind the school, up on that slope, we have the fire station which I still have to tinker a bit, a bit the inside, I think, because the outside is more or less done. And then back down there, here we have the loan uh, residential lot of the district, which is the daycare. So this is going to change. I was playtesting a, well, play testing a few things and I might do a bigger one here. I've uh, used the image on the daycare van here, so I'm going to keep it 
uh, on this one, but here I think I've I've found a bigger sign for this part here. And the residential, so this is going to be the daycare, and that's the residential part of the lot, um, where the Bob family is going to live. Uh, so uh, John is going to be in charge of uh, of the daycare. And then behind the daycare, we have like a pathway, and here. So it goes uh, like that. You have access to the playground behind the daycare, over there. And then if you follow it, you have access to the festival grounds over there. There is kind of a <laughs> Very ugly landmark over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, you know, <laughs> there is a whole story behind it, but yeah, that ugly thing is staying. Okay. <laughs> then if you follow it a bit more, you uh, can go, you arrive at the back of uh, the library of there. And then here. And that's it for um, that first district, so downtown area. So next, uh, after downtown, we have Old Town over there, which is the <laughs> absolute worst to to maneuver uh, around. So because it's quite narrow, and uh, so we have um, nine lots, four community lots. So this one this one and those two and five uh, residential lots um, the community lots they are um, let me show you like that they are um, the theater and this one is the academy but there are stores and the radio station uh, journalism career here and then we have um, the gym and uh, PD. And then here we have a, a pub. So uh, let's have a view from the street. Oh no, we have 10 lots because this is a lot too. So let's start with this one. So forgot this one. So here you can see I've started recoloring, <laughs> but I'm not done. So I have to do these still. Um, so here, yeah, behind the theater, we are going to have um, the food truck <laughs> in that small lot over there. Um, I'm thinking of having it a bit bigger, but yeah, I might rearrange things here a bit. Then we have the theater itself, uh, which is not done. So across the street, we have the gym. Uh, and the police department, so they are on the same lot um, here. Then we have uh, the pub, I still haven't recolored uh, the sign. You can see more of it, I haven't changed it really uh, since last time. So was, um, I'm going to link it also <laughs> somewhere, it was in, on a video if you want to see more of it. Um, then across the streets from it. So yeah, I'm going to recall that. But it's going to be so it's a residential lot. So so it's going to be the Bell uh, family from um, Desiderata Valley. This is going to be their dance uh, studio. Um, the two sisters are dancers, so their dance studio. So it's on the same lot. Then uh, next to it we have. So it's labeled as an academy, but it's actually a boxing place um, on that floor. And then you have two stores. And then this is the um, radio station journalism career over there. And then across the street from it, we have three residential lots. So they're actually apartment buildings. So the first one I know who is going to live there because we are going to have um, a PI office over there. So it's going for it's going to be Natasha Una and John Moll. Both are from 
Desert Rada Valley in The Sims 2 and uh, there are neighbors and it's in their bio so I thought I, I would have them live in the same apartment building. Then next door we have another apartment building. I'm not sure yet who's going to live there. Um, I'm hesitating. Maybe that family. Maybe that one. <laughs> or maybe it's going to be a free one. Well, where you can um, have any family moving in. Or, um, or this one is going to be. And across the street we have a residential lot too and also a Japanese restaurant. So it's going to be home to the Cho family and also the Riley family, both on different floors. Um, both families are from Belladonna Cove. And then um, very quick I'll show you uh, the backstage, <laughs> the back of the building. So that's the back of this one and then the back of the radio station. So you have uh, parking spaces in the back here. And then over there, I'm not done. Um, this is going to be a, a parking uh, spot also uh, to rearrange things. And the back of the Bells family uh, apartment building doesn't want to appear, but there is a backyard over there. Why are you not showing up? Okay. You can see the shadow of the fence. So there is a fence over there and ac actually an access to the garage. Um, well, well, it's not showing. Okay. I'll see you after. Oh, see, it's showing now. So anyway, <laughs> the back of this row over there of buildings, it's actually an alleyway. So let's get there from here, so from uh, the side of uh, the gym, so you can access it here. And then you have the back of the buildings over there, I have to do something there. And from time to time you can uh, up, you know, gates leading to this or that uh, building. So that's it for Old Town, um, that part over there. <laughs> I can see you, fans. Yeah, so that's it for this uh, our district. Next to it, we have uh, that district here, which I'm calling the shopping strip, but you know, it's not really. <laughs> but there is uh, no residential lots here, you have um, six uh, community lots. So the community lots we have, um, this is the hospital and kind of a pharmacy here. Um, then we have the tea house, Chinese tea house. Um, and this is um, Buck Court and this is the grocery store. Uh, and then we have uh, a Closing store, tattoo parlor, the salon, and then behind it there is um, the cat jungle, which is kind of back alley. So let's have a closer view. Okay, so starting with the Chinese um, tea house over there, and then next to it we have the hospital slash um, pharmacy. <laughs> And um, the hospital has changed a bit. It's almost completed, but yeah, there are still a few things I wanted, I would like to add. Um, and then the back, it's just, you know, you have a, a bad way leading to the uh, garden of the Chinese uh, tea house. Okay, so across the street we have so we have a uh, back court here, so I think we s uh, see more of it in uh, the food tour part one, <laughs> the back of the building. Then uh, starting with the back, <laughs> this is um, 
the grocery store, so with the, the rabbit hole uh, rug inside, and then I've changed the register, and now it's kind of a bakery. And then <laughs> next to it here we have uh, the clothing store we saw like two episodes ago, and tattoo parlor. Uh, the last lot here is the catch angle, which is a, actually like a back alley, and uh, I still have a few things to do there. Okay, so that was old, uh, old time. <laughs> that was <laughs> the shopping strip over there, and next we are going to go there and do a quick tour of the trail park. So let's start over there. So we have a sign with this is the trailer park from um, Riverview. Oh, I forgot to tell you how many lots we have. So <laughs> here. Um, so yeah, um, we have um, nine lots. Um, five of them are community lots. So this is the gas station, which also the uh, thief, um, you know, career. <laughs> <laughs> that it's a career. <laughs> uh, it's weird to say that. So uh, yeah, the the lair is there. Um, then we have a fake swimming pool, and it's a <laughs> an old swimming pool. Um, here it's more like a meeting place, and there you have the laundromat, and finally here you have a small place like a, re a rubble. Rubble, rubble, hangout here, and then we have uh, like mobile homes and um, caravans and trailers uh, as uh, houses. So uh, let's have a view. Let's start there. So this is the gas station. Um, then uh, through the back. Oh yeah, uh, there is like a, uh, so the fire station is over there, and there is like a, um, a car went off road over there, and and so this is the back of the building for now. So this is still on the lot, but not this part. This part is World uh, Deco over there, and then you have a pathway um, here, and this is the infamous uh, swimming pool where um, Skip Brock died. Nobody uh, wants to swim in there, or maybe, you know, that seems so. <laughs> then we have that lot I really need to rearrange it a bit, but like it's a meeting um, place. Then residential lots, we have first trailer here, so it's the Brock uh, house, um, but yeah, it has changed a bit, and the house of houses, I'm afraid, are not inspired by anything. <laughs> so I went off road there, but uh, here we are going to have uh, Ruby and Susie Brock uh, from Riverview living there. Then across the street here we have the laundromat, and then next to it we have a trailer which is going to be a starter home. Um, I might change it a bit. For now it looks like that and it's empty. And finally this one, I'm playtesting it right now, and so that's why the dogs are there, they should be there. <laughs> that's going to be the um, Hicks uh, home. So from the Sims, uh, the Sims 1, Unleashed, Unleashed. We have a bad way also here, but first let's do this one. Here, if you follow it, uh, you are right. On the top, I don't think it has changed. Have I put a spawner? I don't remember. <laughs> Apparently, there is a shark in there. Oh my gosh, I don't remember. I put one there. 
Oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll have to have a look. Um, but yeah, uh, there is that spot where you can hang out over there. And then uh, if you follow that pathway, you go. Um, it's leading to our next uh, area over there. Here, so we did that. This is the well, the nectary of the land grabs uh, domain uh, estate. Sorry. Um, so we'll do it very quickly because I have uh, done a kind of a tour uh, previously. So we have at the entrance over there a house I've <laughs> given up on. <laughs> I've given up on on this one. <laughs> uh, it's just, it looks too, too French. Um, but yeah, that's the, I don't know yet who is going to live there. And then the, the nectar itself, so you can uh, actually um, harvest all of these. Um, the nectar is over there. Oops, what happened to my windows? Okay, okay, I've rearranged that. So the nectar here. Uh, the Landgrab's house. So with Malcolm Landgrab the fourth living there and I'm going to add a butler uh, to the household. And uh, yes, in the back we have a few flower beds, I'm not sure. Actually, the path over there, it's not accessible as you can see uh, with the cursor. Um, like it's a crossed uh, circle over there, so it's not accessible. I've painted so that it's just for show decor. So same thing for the pathway over there, it's leading to another area, but it ju was just to pretend that the world wasn't restricted to that part. But I'm interested in doing, so you cannot actually even go see there. See, I cannot uh, click over there. Uh, the waterfall is, is working. See, it's go, it goes like that. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to have, like, to pretend the world was continuing. Okay, so, so that was the nectar uh, area over there. So next uh, we'll do the park area, the natural park area. So. Uh, it's that area over there with no residential lots um, but um, four uh, community lots uh, all parks and uh, so that's Woodland Park uh, it's a rehash of <laughs> the park from The Sims 2 from Prison View and then we have a dog park here and then those two are, I'm not sure what I've uh, put as a label, but let's start with these. So let's start, start on top of that. So it's actually uh, to have a view <laughs> of the town. So the lot actually st uh, stops like here, I think. So that table is part of the lot, so that's why I could recolor it. But I could not do that, that one that you have incredible. It's the only one you get incredible. And it's white. I don't know why. Uh, it, it's weird. Um, and I can't find a DDS uh, file to recolor it. So eesh, it's white. So, yep. So you have a view from that. Kind of. There are a lot of trees. <laughs> now I think of it. <laughs> Then you can take that path away over there. It's a bit dangerous, so be careful. Here we have the climbing walls. That's it. They are just the climbing walls. I might add a few things there, but um, yeah, the climbing walls. They work like that. But yep, that's it. Then we can go down. And then here, I. There used to be a lot here, but I removed it because I don't need it. It's a, it's a fake beach, and that is um, 
an object you can place in Creator World. They are not all uh, accessible there, so this one is accessible. A small creek here, and then uh, if you follow it, so you have here, so I've seen that done with um, the landscaping here, but uh, the main idea is out there. It's just need, I need more time because um, I, don't, I don't want to spend too much time <laughs> on the landscaping in that town because it's not the main point. And then here it's the beginning of the park. Um, so it's um, I'm remaking the park from The Sims 2. That's why there is a gazebo here. So you know that park. Uh, woodland Woodland Park and well, yeah I'll, I'll put the same ideas and maybe more <laughs> we'll see and um, I think it's 40 by 45 something like that and then uh, so there is a pathway over there leading to the parking area uh, next to the hospital and then here this one over there uh, so that's a Chinese garden over there, and this is a dog park. Um, I'm going to remove that. That, yeah, nope. The dog park, which is also <laughs> a soccer field. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of, of a quirky park, I guess. I've um, recolored. Well, recolored. I've customized the the balls for uh, the pets uh, ball. It's weird to say that. The <laughs> it's like a football, but pets can use it, you know. And uh, yeah, no, I've got. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. So uh, I don't like having just a dog park or a cat jungle. I need to have them be something else at the same time. So I'm not sure it's my best idea to have them like. At the same place as a soccer field, they are going. The dogs are going to run around um, the footballs, but you know, <laughs> uh, that's the main idea here. Uh, it might change a bit, but I like the location because it's actually next to our next area, which is here, the residential area with I think 10 lots. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 lots. Yep. Um, 9 residential lots and 1 loan um, community lot which is the museum we saw um, on the last episode so I'm not going to show you uh, much of it. Let's start there. So, that first row of houses here. They're actually the houses where you have, so the backyard, um, have actually access to the alleyway uh, we, saw, we saw earlier. That back to back with the, that old town uh, path here. And we have three houses, but um, that the square between houses have, have integrated in their backyard. Uh, so actually here, uh, that part here is in Creator World. So that they would communicate directly. So it's not the square, the space, you know, you have to have in between buildings. Uh, that you don't have in real life, except Sometimes you do. <laughs> That's near my house. Uh, well, that space here is a bit bigger than one square, and it's not it's not obvious from the front, but was weird from the back to have that, and so I've uh, linked <laughs> the backyards together like that, and. Um, something I've painted um, the terrain so that it's not actually um, your seams they cannot cross these if I hadn't painted um, the terrain uh, not accessible so you, you have a not accessible to seams here 
um, the sims could go through, but here they cannot. So that it's like it limits the backyard there. So good. <laughs> and uh, so the sims they are going to consider that the backyard, and then they can sometimes you know I can put objects uh, have them um, overlap on the on the part here. Uh, because it's still that backyard in a way. So it's a bit convoluted explanation, but yeah, it works. So <laughs> that's why the backyards are bigger than the lots, actually. They are um, wider than the lots are. Um, and I did that for all the houses there. So same thing I did with the old town, old town uh, ones over there. So that there are no, there is no visible gap between the the backyards. So the houses. Uh, let's start with this one. So here we're going to have um, the contrary family, the contrary family from Desirara Valley. Next door going to be. The Jock family, also from Desiderata Valley, and the two families are friends. So that's why I have them um, next door to each other. Then this one is going to be empty. So maybe not a starter home, I don't know. Okay, so then across the street we have the back of the museum. I'm not done. <laughs> I'm still playing with um, my statue um, garden. Then here, I keep modifying it. So I've um, I've gone back to a earlier version. I don't remember what version I've shown you, but I've gone back to a earlier version because I didn't like what I'd done, but I keep changing it. So <laughs> that's a bit difficult, but this one is going to be the pleasant um, home. Next to it is the one I like the least, and I keep changing it too, and I don't know, I've uh, rebuilt it. So that's one of the building I might, you know, do very quickly and then do another version in a while. Um, but is this going to be the Oromas family uh, house? So the, they are a big family. Uh, that's going to be the living there. That's the family with the biggest backyard, and where I've tried with another kind of fence accessible in the crater world. So I've, I've uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so then there is also uh, so there is also a pathway um, behind the fields like that with um, gates uh, in the backyards leading to it, and then all the backyards are. Um, are not communicating, but you know, uh, they are next to each other like that. I, I've removed uh, the gap between the backyards uh, so that it's as if they were connected um, like that. It's really much the, the older version <laughs> of the Pleasance House. I don't know why I've put this one. Okay, I think I've lost the other one. Okay. It's okay. Uh, I'll just have to spend a bit more time there. And then I have to decorate a bit more that alley uh, so that it looks a bit more, you know, as if seems go through there daily. And then it ends up at the art gallery like that. And yeah, I still have. Um, <laughs> I'm having fun with a sculpturify uh, tool, <laughs> and yeah, so that's um, that's the back of um, this street. Um, so with different, so each house has a different layout, uh, even though they do look a bit alike from the front, uh, they are quite different. Um, so. That last row of houses. So we have the art gallery here, which was inspired by that build in from the Sims 2, 
from the present view. And then uh, I started building houses a bit on the same, with the same spirit, like a bit Victorian, I think. And, and then I saw that there were houses a bit like that in San Francisco, in real life San Francisco. And since our pleasant view is a bit inspired by San Francisco with the bridge, etc., uh, I thought I could um, kind of um, take inspiration from them. <laughs> so that's why they are uh, like that. And uh, most of them, I don't know yet who is going to live there. But for this first one, it's going to be the Baldwin family uh, from Belladonna Cove, I think. It's the town that comes with the last EP uh, for uh, The Sims 2, um, Apartment Lives, Life. And I didn't get this one, so I've never played with the family in The Sims 2. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of having them here uh, in this one. This one... I don't know yet. Same thing here. And same is the thing for this one. So the lots are all the same size, even though um, it might look bigger because they that tower part. Uh, it's the same size. They're all the same size. And they all have like a garage uh, downstairs. And then in front of them we have that big lawn. Uh, it's pretty much empty because there is actually no bench available in Creator World. And uh, I didn't want to add a lot just for that here. I did elsewhere, but not here. Okay, so I suppose it's a good uh, place to end that first part. Uh, I'll see you in the second part of the tour in the next episode. A bientôt! Thank <laughs> you.